In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can change the size of the menu when we scroll. Now, this tutorial follows on from the sticky menu tutorial. So if you haven't watched that, do go and watch it and get up to speed. And then this one will make a lot more sense. So uh, let's go and preview this in the browser just so we can see where we're up to. And I've got my menu at the top. And as I scroll, you can see it stays at the top there. So it's sticky and we can see the content underneath it is blurred. So that's all looking good. But what I really want, I want this menu to be smaller and in the middle here when we're at the top of the page. And as I scroll, I then want it to stretch out and fill the width. So let's go ahead and make those changes. First of all, I'm going to get the menu looking how I want, and I'm gonna change the width of it. Uh, it's set to 800 here, and that looks good to me, but you can use any CSS value in here, so you can use percentages, uh, but 800's good. And I wanna move it down from the top of the page a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to spacing, and I'm gonna put a bit of margin on there. So that's looking good. Let's go and pre preview this in the browser. Now we've got this floating menu, it's good. It floats there and sticks to the top, but what it's not doing is it's not going full width how I want. Um, so let's close that. And what I'm actually gonna do, I want this menu to be a little bit chunkier when it's floating like this. So let's go really big. And then when it goes to here, I want it to slim down as well. So we're gonna need to use a little bit of code for this and let's go over to my code editor and now i've got some two different ways of doing this here so this first code example is using standard css classes and this second code example is using tailwind classes and all we're doing is we are looking to get the menu by an id name and we'll name the menu in a minute and then when the scroll position goes um, beyond 800 it's going to apply these classes and when it's less than 800, so when you scroll back up, it's going to remove those classes that we applied. So what I'm gonna do, um, first of all, let's rename our menu. We just need to give it an ID, and that is down in the advanced box here. And I'm gonna call it fancy menu. You can call this whatever you like, but you do need to make sure that the ID is the same in the code. So the ID I set here should be the same as the um, name here so when we get element by ID that's what you want to name so let's copy this script and we need to put this in our page and the quickest way to do this is um, with a little custom component so I've just created an HTML component gonna drop this in here and you can see there my HTML element and we need to edit this code so I'm gonna bring up the code editor which by default is down at the bottom of the page and I'm just gonna paste in that code that we copied from here. But we no longer need, um, or we don't need these yet. I'm just gonna remove these so we can keep things simple. And we're just gonna focus on the width here. And let's just change this number to 500. So now just to go over this again, just to remember, we are gonna get the element by ID, which is fancy menu. And when the scroll is above 500, we're gonna set the width to 100%, so that will stretch it out. And then when we scroll back up, we're gonna remove the width, width property and it will go back to looking how it was. So let's go and preview this in the browser and see if it works. So now when I scroll, we should, yep, there we go. It's now animates out to the full width of the page. So this is looking really nice, but we wanna apply some of those other values. Let's go in here. So we want the height. So I'm gonna go over to here on my HTML element and I'm gonna paste the height in. And I'm gonna change the background color to white as well. And we also wanna remove both of those properties. So we're gonna get the height, paste that in because that matches here. So add the height, remove the height. We also need to do the same with the background. Add the background and remove the background. So now let's go and have a look at how this is shaping up. So now when I scroll, we should see a few effects take place. So the menu bar gets smaller and it becomes opaque, so we can no longer see through it. And again, if I scroll back up, it goes back to the standard menu. So this is looking really nice as I scroll up and down. So really the only thing left to do 
is to um, rename my um, custom component, which I can do in here. And we'll call this uh, menu script, just so we know uh, just so we know what it is in our project. And we don't need this HTML up here um, because this is just displaying in the editor. So I can just delete that and it becomes just a line in here and we don't notice it. If you ever need to select this component again, we can go to the um, node editor, the node browser, and we can find our script there and highlight it. And if your page becomes really big and you're not sure whereabouts it is, you can just start typing menu and there we go. It hones it right down and shows us. So perfect. So um, that's how it works and you can have a lot of fun with changing these values and um, yeah, making your menus really fancy and doing what you want with them. Now, if you need some more help with this, do ask on the forum. If there's things you wanna change about the menu or you have other questions, ask on the forum and we'll get back to you and help you implement this in your project. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you go and implement this in your own projects and I look forward to seeing those. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye. Yeah.